good morning. It's the 10th of November 2012. It's 9.30 in the morning, Central European time. This is Brussels. Brussels is close to eight. I'm going up that way towards the Grand Platz and various other things and yeah. Brussels people are yeah, a bit bonkers as well. So there we are. Um, not open yet, but I'm going to be back when it is. Have a lovely one. So here I am in the Grand Platz, the Groves Market. And although it's rain, it's not raining at the moment. Sort of well, memories of this place from the 80s. We shall mainly be saying not open till 11 o'clock on a Saturday. That's the second row, second row in a year, second year in a row. Ugh. Never mind, I'm gonna check in anyway, you know. And again, very, very, very long time ago. Well, listening to the Virgin Cast, and here I am back. A nice little wander run. I'm expecting some nice little beers, practically big beers. So. Coupe, Coupe, the rank, which is a goose. I'm waiting in at seven. I can't remember if I've already had one of these. And they give you a bowl of barley. How good is that? Anyway, let's rock and roll. That's a good. Oh, not bad. I give it a little And this is number two. This is Panda Brothers. Um, seems to be from both. Mother Lambic and Brasserie de la Seine, so it's probably brewed on their behalf. 4% alcohol by volume. And it looks like, well, it looks like. Mm. That's not bad, very bitter. Quite light as well. I'm going to give that a name minus. That is good. This is very good. Yeah. Look at some glasses. Yeah. Did I say A minus? I hope I did because that's what I'm going to give it. Okay, see the guy in the sweatshirt outside? I know him from Chesmo de Lambic. Anyway, he comes in, doesn't recognize me because my eyes are in glasses. And he recommended this, which is Marmaille from Paradis, French beer, 5% alcohol by volume. Guy knows his beer. I want more nuts. Barley. Ooh. A sort of spicy taste to it. I'm gonna give her an eight, that is wonderful. Good smon. I don't know that's gonna do anything, but these are some strong beers. Yeah, more barley. Okay, this is a first for me. This is an Italian beer and it's made with red grapes. And it's 8% alcohol by volume. It's called Beer Beera. It's from a company called Leather Beer. And we've got Brandy, Mark, and Brian Dury 
they might say this is why this is a lambic and it's wonderful it's a straight A and it's wonderful you see the poop this is more of the beer terrible name wonderful beers uh, this is beer brunga and I think there's grapes in here as well and it's 6.2% alcohol by volume and the aroma is yeah actually no this is plum oh that's another A Plum beer. Good thought. Oh, this is good. And I get red t shirt as well. I'm all rock and roll today. My third lover beer. This is Madamin. 6.2% alcohol by volume. And it's listed by Antanta's Sour Ale. Who knows what's inside there? I've been to their web. Wow. That's fruity as well. I don't know what the hell it is that. That's. That's good, but. I'm going to give that a minus. But on another day, that could be an A. I hope you watch Mr. Lando. So, okay, we're back on the D-Rank. This is Hop Harvest. Hop Harvest. I love it. 2012, 6% alcohol by volume. And we have some more barley. And it looks like a lively young brew. 2012, of course. Okay. Oops. Not much of an aroma. Nice head though. Ooh, powerful. That's a very powerful brew. Powerful in taste, powerful in. Ooh, the finish is really powerful. It's an A minus. It might make me fall over. Okay, this is my last for today, and if you're going to drink anything from Cantillon, this is the creek. You can go to Lambic. And this is incredibly sour and incredibly good. Straight A. Mr. Lambic.